another video posted on September 22, 2021, Carlson again promoted the Great Replacement Theory. After he discussed a wave of Haitian migrants at the U.S. southern border, Carlson asked his viewers to think about why Biden administration would allow so many immigrants into our country, insisting, quote, nothing about it is an incident, is an accident. This is intentional. Uh, he answered his own question and explained, quote, in political terms, this policy is called the Great Replacement. The replacement of legacy Americans with more obedient people from faraway countries, end quote. This video was viewed nearly half a million times and shared over 11,000 times. Once again, Carlson fan base uh, regularities regulate, uh, uh, regurgitates this harmful narrative in the comments with one person writing, quote, the first invasion of the country without a shot fired, complete destruction of the country from within collapsing the country's economy. They can't collect enough taxes to pay for all these people coming in. The NWO New World Order has arrived. End quote. Another user replied, quote, You mean no shot fired yet? Oh, damn. Um, Carlson saying, You've got to ask yourself, as you watch the historic tragedy that is Joe Biden's immigration policy, what's the point of this? Nothing about it is an accident. This is intentional, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah. Tucker Carlson being crazy. Um, again, this is a theme in the stochastic, ter stochastic terror of um, uh, Tucker Carlson saying this and uh, random people in society causing mass harm in the name of the fear. Um, and it's unorganized, so you might never see it coming. Um, the ideology is organized, I guess, I suppose. Um, anyways, the first invasion of this country without a shot fire, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, yeah, pretty much a summary of what I read. Another Facebook user compiled several examples of Tucker Carlson promoting theory to show her support and insist it is actually the Democrats who are obsessed with Democrats. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, Democrats who are obsessed with demographics. Hey, Chuck Schumer, uh, the blanked out person said, tell us again which party is obsessed with demographics. Hint, it's not the Republican Party. The Great Replacement. Uh, wow. Yeah, just be isolationist and uh, inbred, I guess, right? That's what the Republican Party is about, apparently. Anyways, Laura Ingram is another uh, Fox News personality with a history of promoting the Great Replacement Theory. On Fox, Laura Ingram has 1.4 million followers, and her posts typically have around 1,000 likes and are shared a few thousand, a few hundred times. During a segment of her show in October 2018, The Ingram Angle, she told her viewers, quote, Your views on immigration will have zero impact and zero influence on the house dominated by Democrats who want to replace you, the American voters, with newly anesthetized citizens, amnet, oh, amnetized citizens, end quote. Just one week later, Ingram shared an article about a spike in illegal border crossings on her Facebook page. The comments on that post reveal how quickly her supporters embrace her extreme talking points and the prevalence of this conspiracy on Facebook. The topic comment on the video encourages violence against immigrants, suggesting, quote, start shooting and ask questions later. Another user echoes Ingram's belief that increased immigration is a democratic conspiracy to supplant American voters and take control, calling the immigrants referenced in the article, quote, democratic bodies for the polls. Jeez. A uh, blocked out person says, better get more wiser. Start shooting and ask questions later. What's the numbers? Jeez. Uh, blacked out person says, stop the welfare, free medical, and free housing. Boom. All of a sudden, they stop coming. Um, free housing. Oh, like 
homeless shelters? Yeah, okay. You're real nice there. <laughs> Damn. I've lived in a rent-free before, and it definitely was not fun. I'm sorry. Um, anyways. Uh, in another example of the prevalence of this conspiracy on Facebook, Facebook, one user openly connected the theory to its white nationalist roots by sharing a racist infographic indicating what he believes to be part of the white culture that will be supplanted. Similarly, a page titled, quote, Your Daily Red Pill, ugh, shared a video promoting the Great Replacement Theory with its nearly 4,000 followers. They warned that the immigrants are coming to conquer Europe, America, and Canada, and these cultures. The same fears that <clears throat> motivated the Buffalo shooter to murder 10 people in defense of his perceived attack. Meanwhile, others use memes to share this conspiracy. Damn. There's no way I can read that. I'm sorry, guys. I've heard of I Hypocrite. Hey, guys, if you got this far in the video, uh, comment below what this says. Alright. Oh. Blanked out person says, This is a huge problem that no one wants to address. Uh, we are not recognizing that these people are coming to take advantage of a broken welfare system and not interested in becoming Europeans, Americans, Canadians. Furthermore, they are using it to create a beachhead for their own people to take ownership of these lands. This has all been manufactured and brought to you by the agenda of the United Nations globally in every Western country. Those that fight back are deemed racists and bigots for simply speaking up for what is rightfully theirs to begin with. Alright, if you listened to my um, reading of the birth earth, even with my disagreements with the data that Ben Wattenberg read about the white birth or, uh, the white births declining, um, he even says that immigrants aren't taking our jobs. They're just simply not. You know, the data doesn't even suggest this at all. So, it's kind of interesting. These people are definitely deranged. Alright. Europeans need to start speaking out or watch their culture disappear, blah, blah, blah. Alright. Oh. Uh. Wow. Yeah, I'm sure we know. Alright. I'm not really sure what the dichotomy here is, besides the look of the, the conservative. Like, I feel like QAnon could just be put into this quoted conspiracy theories, as opposed to just the quoted right-wing side. I don't know, whatever. Maybe I'm not meant to get it. I mean, all these things have either happened or claim to have happened by conservatives as conspiracy theories oh right rigged election 2020 okay yeah obviously conspiracy um what Iraq war for Israel hmm I mean whatever I don't know what the um, dog whistle in that would be but I mean anyways Additionally, in the fall of 2021, Representative uh, Elise Stefani of New York ran a series of ads on Facebook that embraced replacement theory. In the ads, Stefani warned of a democratic plot to bring millions of illegal immigrants in the, into the country to, quote, overthrow our current electorate. These ads str strategically play an extremist rhetoric to stoke growing fears that white Americans are under attack and minorities seek to eject them, which is not true. Um, <sighs> wow. I think I've seen these covers before at the library, potentially. Alright. 
Facebook prohibits hate speech, which it defines as, quote, a direct attack against people rather than concepts or institutions on the basis of what we call protected characteristics, race, ethnicity, national origin, disability, religious affiliation, caste, blah, 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 uh, uh, end quote. Their uh, policy explicitly prohibits, prohibits, quote, violent or dehumanizing speech, harmful stereotypes, statements of inferiority, expressions of contempt, disgust, or dismissal, cursing, and calls for exclusion or segregation, as well as harmful stereotypes, which they define as dehumanizing comparisons that have historically been used to attack, intimidate, or exclude specific groups that are often linked with offline violence. Uh, it also explicitly singles out calls for segregation or exclusion, including, uh, quote, explicit exclusion, which means things like expelling certain groups or saying they are not allowed, end quote, political exclusion, economic exclusion, and social exclusion. All right. I think that's a good place to stop uh, at this moment, personally.